17. Um, I actually find this one a bit difficult, not to read, but to make sure that I'm completely grasping what Shakespeare is saying. Um, he is done with the procreation sonnets. Here he's basically saying that I as a poet cannot possibly tell you how beautiful youth is, even in the beauty of my words. Most of you'd say I'm a liar, that what I'm saying is not true. Um, so it's a bit interesting that he goes through all of these 17 sonnets saying uh, how beautiful youth is. And then he's saying, oh, well, what's the point? You're all thinking I'm a liar. Uh, there's way more to this one than, than that. And I don't have the t time. Digesting it would be just an incredibly fun time. <clears throat> so here it is. Good Thursday morning to everybody. Who will believe my verse in time to come if it were filled with your most high deserts? Yet though heaven knows, it is but a tomb which hides your life and shows not half your parts. If I could write the beauty of your eyes and in fresh numbers number all your graces, the age would come to say, the poet lies. Such heavenly touches ne'er touched earthly faces. So should my papers, yellowed with their age, be scorned like old men of less truth than tongue, and your true rights be termed a poet's rage in stretched meter of an antique song? But were some child of yours alive that time, you should live twice in it and in my rhyme. Have a great day, everyone.